<laughs> First year lab, um, 15 weeks a year. Students will come into here, and this is this is where it's all done, really. This is where we turn normal human beings into into real physicists. Um, so the idea is here that when people start off, um, they don't really know how to make a simple measurement. And by the end of it, they know how to measure um, a charge on the electron and uh, various other proper physical properties. Okay, hi, I'm Chris. I'm a PhD student here at Lancaster, and I'm out in the first year labs demonstrating for uh, the first year students. Um, there's several experiments in the room, um, ranging from the sort of a-level style experiments with a bit added onto them, so some completely new experiments that people probably won't have seen before. Um, so the first one we've got here is Rutherford scattering, um, which involves a radioactive source uh, in the container. So we what are doing is we're changing the angle that the americium is being fired at the gold foil that's in here. Um, americium emits alpha radiation. So we're measuring the count rate as a function of the angle that the americium is being fired at. And then we will plot a graph and work out the relationship between the count rate and the angle. We uh, aim to make the people who come in through these doors at the end of their year uh, able to carry out a proper experiment of conception all the way through to the final analysis. Okay, this set of experiments here is um, a series called Black Boxes. This is uh, quite an open experiment. It's using knowledge gained from previous experiments about AC um, electrical circuits and all this sort of thing uh, to investigate what's in what's in these black boxes, which have uh, some random components in them that they're not told about, and they have to use investigative methods to find out what's actually in the, in the box. Uh, and that's the style of that experiment. What we tend to work here, we have a, an academic member of staff looking after the whole group, and then we have uh, postgraduates who very often have actually been in the first year lab themselves a few years earlier, um, actually helping out in, in the labs. Um, and they sort of uh, form a bridge, if you like, between the elderly academics like myself and the, the young uh, undergraduates. These guys here are doing an ultrasound experiment. They have uh, a receiver and a transmitter, um, which they can move along an optical bench, and uh, they know the distance between these two uh, objects uh, quite precisely because of the bench. Um, the oscilloscope there displays the signal coming from the receiver that it, that it gets from the transmitter. So they can move that along and see the shift in the oscilloscope, and that will tell them the wavelength uh, and they can measure the time period of this wave. Um, they can also see how the amplitude of the ultrasonic wave um, dissipates as it gets further away from its source. Right, so basically we are investigating the effect of an alternating current on an inductor, which is this big coil here, which produces a magnetic field. And you get some weird properties combined with alternating current. And we're measuring some voltages here. Yeah, so explain. this is an oscilloscope, and you see the lines on the graph here represent the voltage of the circuit, and it forms a sine curve, and that's because of the alternating current that we've got going in and the inductor sets doing stuff. Okay, these guys are investigating um, basically fixed waves on a string. So, what are you guys doing? Um, well, at the moment, we're um, altering the oscillator over here to change the amplitude of this and we're basically using the Lorentz rules to calculate the fundamental frequency and its relationship to the speed of it. And how is this equipment set up? Um, it's set up with a copper wire across this meter here connected to an oscillator and a counter and this here is a magnet, two poles and both the AC current and the magnet is causing the system to oscillate, along with the tension caused by the weight at the end. Um, Have you just estimated uncertainty in the frequency from the counter? No. No, this is a estimated the uncertainty in the frequency from measurement. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Okay.